Hey guys, welcome back. I know I haven't posted a video in a while. Yeah, I was in the UK for eight days and it really threw me off my schedule. I'm just gonna give you a quick video overview of what I did in England. I'm at lunch with Sarah Hello. in London. We're at Paul. Uh, yeah, she's really hungry, so I'm gonna stop filming right now. <laughs> this is my first time taking the tube in a while. We're going to Oxford Street right now. Yes, we are. We're on the um, Central Line. Uh, platform we're at Holland Park. Sarah and I are on Oxford Street and it just started snowing. This is a giant shower jelly. Oh. What's this one called? This is um, a golden one Okay, so we're at Kew Gardens today. It's so exciting and it's so And it's surprisingly day. sunny. It's a beautiful sun. day. Yeah. It's not too cold. Either. And uh, Sarah is walking around with her GoPro. It is really pretty today. Very tall holly tree. What? Oh yeah, I mean, I'm shorter than most things, you know. Yeah. They have alliterated names. Yeah. We're very high up at the moment. Uh, oh, you can see the city from here. It is advisable that you do not look down. Don't die, please, while you're taking that picture. No, we just came across these two peacocks who are just like chilling out and way too used to human exposure. It's not yeah. like, is that the new GoPro for Hero 4 or is this a Hero 3? I can't really <laughs> <laughs> Well, just so you know, Mr. Peacock, it's a Hero and Another Peacock. Uh, next to a very lovely body of water. Giant fungi. Uh, Sarah is currently trying to conquer her fear of very narrow walking spaces. And film at the same time, I might add. <laughs> yeah, actually making progress. I'm actually not doing badly. Sarah and Suyen, we were Swatties together, and uh, yeah, now we're convening in London. Swatties in London! Swatties in London. That should be a hashtag. Hashtag. Mm-hmm. Hashtag. Having gincello, and which I've never had before, but it's pretty good. I'm here at the British Museum. I'm not sure where to start. Sarah is supposed to join me, but uh, she has trouble finding her wallet, so I'm gonna take a look around. Coming to museums like this always reminds me, first of all, how much world history I've forgotten, and also of the many ways in which mankind has tried to grasp its own existence. I visited the Enlightenment exhibit this time round, and I learned that this innovative school of thought also pioneered linguistic studies, particularly that of ancient texts. This subset of Enlightenment scholars wanted to understand early language and how they developed into what was their modern language. So they started analyzing old writing systems like hieroglyphics. It's interesting to think about how thought begins and ends, and really how we begin and end. Speaking of hieroglyphics and beginnings and ends, I saw lots of mummies. When I see mummies and all the gadgets and gizmos the ancient Egyptians put into their graves, it always strikes me that such magnitude of human effort was invested in preparing for death. You'd almost think they put more energy into dying than living. I like seeing how human thought has evolved and how we can see that in a people's art. I like seeing how we went from deifying our leaders to concerning ourselves with the common man, wondered why some get to be gods and some don't. Some could argue that we haven't quite escaped from deification, but that's a whole other discussion. In any case, I liked taking this time, in the middle of a busy city, to think about who we all are. This business is older than our country. Amen, sister. We're here at the Royal Academy exhibit for Ai Weiwei. This is his memorial to the Sichuan earthquake back in 2008. The way I see it, the Chinese people as a whole have a pretty symbolic and metaphoric way of looking at the world and I love how he's repurposed that. This is the famous uh, set of three photos of Ai Weiwei dropping the Han Dynasty vase. This one kind of resonate with me because I remember I visited Beijing pre-Olympics and I went to the Forbidden City and they, it was largely under renovation. They were basically stripping all the old tiles and replacing them with like shiny new tiles. It calls them to question whether an original is less valuable if it's not shiny enough for the consumption of the public. And if we consider an original to be worthless, what are we actually getting out of putting artifacts like Han Dynasty things on display? So if this is supposed to be a map of China as seen from above, then those stores over there are supposed to be Taiwan. This is the underside, right? So then where's Hong Kong on this map? Is that like a deliberate decision or something? So I was constantly under surveillance during his imprisonment, but he's kind of turned this into something where we are also the voyeurs as well. We're in 
the Sherlock Holmes Museum at 221B Baker Street, and this is Sherlock's bedroom. Uh, that is in one of This room of wax figures is unsettling me greatly. This room didn't really help with the last one. Here at the Winter Wonderland with my friend Kaylin and Sarah, and here's an Anna. <laughs> it's kind of chaos here. There's also like a giant puppet over the Bavarian village. So now I'm back. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. I had a lot of fun in London. I really miss my friends. I'm cooking Brussels sprouts right now for a potluck tomorrow at work. So I'll see you guys later.